Travis McPherson here, MMA Weekly with Jason High. He's getting ready to get it on tomorrow at Strike Force Challengers. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Feeling good. So you're making your debut in Strike Force. It's been uh, the first time in quite a while that we've seen you. Actually, in a lot of ways, it's going to be the first time for a lot of American fans seeing you. Uh, are you excited about your opportunity to be on Showtime? Yeah, it's good. I've been on HGNet a few times, so it's good to 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 be able to to have a different audience on Showtime. You know. Now, when you got signed by Strike Force, did you know that uh, you were going to be able to be on the on the challengers, uh, the televised portion of the card, or did you think that you were going to have to work your way up? No, nah, originally I was on the undercard, so I was ready to work my way up and get some recognition. But uh, a couple guys got hurt, so they moved me up to the uh, televised card. Was there ever a, a point, you know, after signing with Strike Force and then hearing about the Zufa takeover, that you're a little bit concerned about your contract or, or what might happen? Nah, not really. I mean, you know. You still got to go in there and fight and win fights to, to advance, so it doesn't matter really who we work for. Now, before you got on this win streak, which has been pretty impressive, uh, you had a little bit of a, of a down streak. Was there ever a time where you sat there and you thought, well, I don't know, maybe this isn't for me, uh, or did you know that eventually you would be able to turn it back around? No, I just had, you know, a couple of bad fights. I mean, you know, the one at the end of the tournament and then the, the fight in the UFC, I mean, everybody loses in this game, so just got to keep working hard. Did you change anything specifically that have, uh, that's put you on this win streak? Um, I went back and, and looked at a few things that I was doing. I just felt like I didn't adjust well in those fights, so I try to try to be more, uh, you know, adaptable in, in fights. You know, your fight here coming up is against a, a incredible submission guy, uh, Quinn Mulhern. Uh, we've seen him a lot on HD Net. Uh, what kind of things does he bring to the table that you need to be concerned about? A good submission game, improving stand up, so. You know, he's dangerous. It's going to be a good fight. What kind of things do you think that you bring that none of his opponents up until this point uh, have been able to bring to him? Well, I'm going to be in great shape. I'm in great shape, and, and I'm, I'm going to push the fight. So, you know, I, I just hope he's ready to go, you know. He finishes a lot of opponents, and he submits the vast majority of them. Is that in your mind? I mean, you have a good submission game yourself. Are you looking to try to maybe submit the submission master? Nah, man, I, I just want to get in there and get the win. You know, I don't really care how it comes, so... If he gives me a submission, I'll take it for sure. Now, looking at uh, your particular division in Strike Force, obviously the champion is was Nick Diaz, but it looks like he's going to be giving that title up. Um, obviously, that kind of bumps you up regardless. Like, you win this fight, and even though you may not be number one contender, that immediately bumps you up a little bit. Um, what do you think about that whole process of uh, GSP and Nick Diaz uh, getting a super fight and, and uh, vacating the Strike Force title? What are your thoughts on that? Um, it doesn't surprise me that much because Nick Diaz was kind of angling for that fight anyway with the whole boxing thing, you know. So it doesn't surprise me. I mean, they want—I'm sure they want to keep him. He's an exciting fighter, you know. He, he has good fights, so you know they want to keep him. He wants to stay busy, so it kind of just worked out, you know. Is that a fight that you're actually interested in as a fan of the sport? Nick Diaz GSP? Yeah. Not really. Not really. I, I don't. That's not a fight that I would. I, I can like. I think I just know how that fight's going to go, so I don't really. I watch it, but. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not really the matchup that I would match up. If you if you were the uh, matchmaker for Strike Force at this point, who would you put in the title picture for the uh, welterweight title? Uh, Tyron Woodley and probably Paul Daly. And who do you think would pull that one off? I think Woodley would get that. And I, I know you're you know him pretty well. What is it about him that uh, has made him so successful to this point? I mean, because we see a lot of wrestlers come through MMA, but it seems like he has something different. Uh, he works hard. He learns fast. He, he Transitions really well from striking to grappling, and you know he's just a good, a good. Um, you know he learns fast. And, you know he's just a good athlete, and you know he's got a good mind for for the sport. Now looking <laughs> again back to your fight, uh, if you want to tell fans what kind of uh, fight to expect, I mean obviously you have a, a great grappler, you have a great all-around game. Do you think that we're going to see a lot of ground action, or do you think it's going to be mostly standing? Um, it depends. I mean, how I'm feeling in there. I, I feel like with the wrestling advantage, I can pretty much dictate where the fight goes. So, you know, I think, you know, he's he's going to have a hard time taking me down to use jujitsu on me, you know. So, you know, we'll see. All things being equal, if you're able to uh, come out with the victory here and you're not too injured, how often do you want to fight? Maybe August again. So right away, not no, yeah, yeah, I don't, no delay I don't at all. Stay busy, you know. So. Do you have any uh, sponsors or any websites or anything you want to say uh, what's up to? Uh, say what's up to VXRSI, uh, all my sponsors in Kansas City, Synergy, Health and Fitness, uh, Gazelle Incorporated, all those guys, thanks. All right, here with Jason High, MMA Weekly.